Welcome to the Oikos Family Podcast. I'm Sonia Wood, and I'm glad you could join me today in this podcast. And if you've been listening to the previous podcast, you will maybe have noticed that what I do is I share little stories here and there from various novels, books that we've perhaps narrated, or um, books that we've written, and I share with them with you chapter by chapter or story by story. Well, for the next 13 weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you chapter by chapter, or in this instance, it's called part by part, part one, part two, part three, of the book I wrote called From Chronic and Terminal Illness to Abundant Love. Now, the reason why I'm going to be sharing this with you in this way, one part at a time, is all explained in the introduction of the book, which I will be sharing as the first episode of the series right here. Um, When I'm finished chatting to you, I'm going to just um, add the introduction to the Abundant Life audiobook, which I have done. And then we put the next podcast up. I will share the next part of Abundant Life with you. I will introduce it as I am doing now. And then I will share what is already pre-recorded as being the next part that follows on in the Abundant Life audiobook. Um, This is obviously because it's going to be coming through the podcast one at a time like that. If it is so that you would like the book in its entirety, it will be available for you. Well, not will. It is available for people to access that audiobook just wherever audiobooks are are found, you know, whichever platform you use for listening to audiobooks. And if you don't use a specific platform, then you can just Google search Abundant Life by Sonia Wood, because I wrote the book and narrated it. And also the other thing is, of course, you will find the series, the video series that I did for Abundant Life on the Oikos Patreon page. I'll also put a link in this podcast with every one that we do regarding the series that I'm going to run for you. We will put the links to audiobooks where you can get the audiobook in its entirety and also if you want to watch the video series um, on Abundant Life. We did that during the pandemic actually, you know, it was quite appropriate. We were locked in and so we thought, right, now's the time I'm going to gather up all the courage that I have, which I have because of the Lord, not because of myself, and I'm going to sit in front of the camera and I'm going to do a video series where I share about uh, the journey we went on with Abundant Life going, you know, through that um, season. It took a long time to put that video series together just because it was a very difficult video series to do because it came from a very deep place in my heart. But that is also now available on Patreon. It's not on YouTube, just because YouTube wasn't the right home for it. So it sits there on Patreon. I think it's about 10 or 11 or 12, I don't know exactly, episodes with some behind the scenes as well and so on and so forth. So that is there on Oikos Patreon and uh, under the Collections tab. I'm so thrilled that Patreon has made it possible for us to put things into collections so you can go and have a look at the different collections on the Oikos Patreon page if you are interested. But for now, this is the first of the series of um, the Abundant Life podcast series I'm going to be sharing with you. And so now I'm going to share with you the introduction from the audiobook from Chronic and Terminal Illness to Abundant Life. I hope you will find something useful from listening to that. And thank you for joining me. Bye for now. Introduction. In the years 2003 to 2005, our family went on a journey during which we learnt many lessons. These have been of such great value to us that we want to share them with you. We are so grateful for all that God has taught us through this time that we hope we can pass on some of our gathered treasures to you. God's word instructs us to love him with all our heart, soul, and mind. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, 
and with all your soul and with all your strength. He also tells us to take good care of our bodies, for they are his temple. We are three parts, body, soul and spirit. Extensive study can be done on these topics in the Word, which is what we did during the time of serious illness. Prior to chronic and terminal illness, we never took his teachings about being good stewards of our bodies as seriously as he required. In 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20, it says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. The King James Version for verse 20 is, Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. I share with you in this publication snippets from the story of our journey. I cannot possibly share the full testimony here, for that would take a few volumes. Another reason for not trying to share every detail is that we discovered during our time of bad health that we were unable to absorb volumes of literature. Often out of the goodness of their hearts, people would give us reams of literature in the hopes that it would help and support us. Sadly, though, we would not even attempt to read all that was given to us because when your days are filled with daily survival, managing pain, praying for comas to lift, mixing veggie juices, making healing broths, etc., you do not have time to read so much, even though it is so very important. The Word, God's Word, was the only reading I did for many months. I could not absorb anything in the way of any other learning but the Word of God. This fed my spirit. Greg, my husband, did his best to read and learn what he could, but it was mostly only after the extreme suffering was past that we began to focus on deeper research. For these reasons, I'm keeping the sharing of so many years short in the hopes that those who are already suffering with a chronic or terminal illness may be able to take it in small bite-sized pieces. Hence the layout in parts, which enables you to pick up and put down reading only what is relevant to you at the time of need, so you can absorb what is supportive to you during your walk to Abundant Life. It has taken me four years to finally put the story into publication. The reason for this is that it has always seemed to me that I would never be able to capture the volume and value of what we have learnt during this walk to wellness. However, as much as I could never capture it all, small snippets will be sufficient, I hope to get you headed on the road to recovery, health and abundant life. I must include here too that it saddened me to include photos of our past illness and suffering in this book. The reason I included them is that a close friend and family who walked with us during our struggle encouraged me to include the seriousness and critical scenario which our family was in. In the past, when we shared our testimony briefly with people, The gravity of our situation was not realized and consequently the importance of lessons, the extreme change of lifestyle and ultimately the greatness and goodness of God and his leading and his miracles were not fully acknowledged. So although the story seems unreal at times, it was all very real to us as we lived through every minute of it. This book is not for us to reflect back on the gravity of this struggle but rather it is our hope that it leads others to walk with God, trusting Him, believing in Him, in His Word, in His promises, in His miracles, so that they too may walk a vibrant, abundant life. We do not presume to be experts or specialists in the field of medicine, nutrition, chemistry, or other specialized fields which are touched on throughout this book. We do, however, confidently and boldly say that our family has experienced a good dose of a variety of specialists and found the greatest, most faithful, most reliable and most trustworthy of all has been our specialist physician, Jesus Christ our Lord. I have entitled this book From Chronic Illness and Terminal Illness to Abundant Life simply because since the healing of our children from chronic illness and myself from terminal cancer, we now live an abundant life. I use the word abundant because we have never before experienced life to the extent of energy, vitality, health and goodness than what we all do now. To God be the glory.
Proverbs 3, verse 5. Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind, and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. Isaiah 30, verse 15. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel, says. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength.